The Belgium raid is on. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the West Ham Network. This is your Hammers Headlines in association with our good friends over at KUMB.com. Get across there, check out all the West Ham content. Fantastic forum, fantastic website. As per usual, I'm here bringing to you some of the stories with regards to the Hammers Headlines for today, and I've just mentioned it to you all about the Belgium raid. Now, it was reported a while ago that West Ham were setting up, you know, plans to start raiding the Belgium League and apparently West Ham are interested in bringing this geezer in, luring the Royal Antwerp Loney, remember he is a Loney, Mandela Keisha to the London Stadium in the summer as David Moyes has set his sights supposedly on strengthening that area of the park in the midfield. Now although West Ham were quiet in the January transfer window, Calvin Phillips did come into the club. Now, I've done a story on Calvin Phillips earlier on today on the West Ham Daily about how potentially David Moyes has performed a U-turn and has made a decision maybe not to carry on his deal. Now, this, this is all reports. There's no guarantees. However, we can all agree, we can if we're watching this just now, that it's not been a great start to his West Ham career. So, fingers crossed, I always want players to do really well, but Calvin Phillips is going to cost West Ham a lot of money come the summer. And is that necessarily going to be the vision of what Tim Stiden is looking to achieve with this club? And this player here, Mandela Keisha, could be the geezer. Now, Tim Stiden, who has been responsible for West Ham's player recruitment strategy and scouting department since coming in to his technical director role last July, is sourcing the market and apparently is playing close attention to this player, Keisha. Now, West Ham are looking like they would like to make a move for this guy and they're keeping tabs on him that he's currently playing in the Pro League in Belgium for Royal Antwerp. Now, he is on loan and the deal is suspected to be and go through as a full-time deal with Antwerp. But the thing is, money talks and the Premier League money certainly does talk and West Ham will have to be savvy in terms of trying to get something like this deal done. But if you do look at... Keisha's stats in comparison to Calvin Phillips' stats, they do read a lot higher in pass completion percentage by about 7-8%, ball recoveries by about one full percent, tackles, um, you know, he makes nearly three tackles per game, successful tackles, he makes nearly double the blocks per game and he makes nearly double the interceptions per game. And if we're looking to bring in this player, then he does look like he is a bit of a geezer, to be honest with you. Now, what do we know about him? Um, he is an energetic midfielder. He's got something of like a kind of unique profile in the midfield. He's incredibly strong from a defensive point of view with the ability to pass and this, I think, is the key point here as a lone number six and break up the attacks from the opposition with ease. At times, he genuinely appears to be everywhere in the midfield as he moves from side to side, blocking all those kind of passing lanes, engaging all the opposition, ball carries coming forward. Um, but he is also very good at progressing the ball and carrying the ball forward for his team, a bit like Alvarez does do currently for West Ham. And he is a product of the Youth Academy at OH Leuven in Belgium, and he's currently under contract at their club until 2025, on loan though at Antwerp. But bringing someone like him with his credibility, with his stature, strong, physical midfielder into the middle of the park, you know, meets the criteria of what West Ham are looking to do at the club, then I think this deal could be a no-brainer. The interesting factor, the interesting factor is he is only 21. He is only 21 years old. He has represented Belgium at international level once in his career already. Um, he's got a lot of history of playing uh, football for Raul and Swept 48 games um, scoring one goal with four assists and previously 40 games for OH Leuven um, with two assists in his game. But he is what looks like a real quality player as well. Big, strong, like I said, player that really does offer West Ham potentially another option 
through the middle of the park, standing at like six foot tall. Um, I think it would be potentially an exciting prospect to look at, a player that's massively, you know, not heard of around um, in England. And I think this is what West Ham are looking to try and do is very similar to when I discussed it before, the Brighton model, where they start to search the non-best five leagues in the world with the players that are standing out at the best quality. And this player probably fits that system quite well. So it's an exciting prospect. I never thought I'd be sitting here again five, six years later when we first started the channel talking about players that are unheard of because nine times out of ten you always take a keen interest in the players you always have heard of. But hopefully I've given you a little bit more of an insight into Mandela Keisha. So the next story for you though to talk today about is this man here, Tommy Suchek. Join me over the next couple of days as I'll be discussing Thomas Suchek, but he has gone ahead and won the Czech Footballer of the Year for the third time in his career. He's picked up in 2019, 2020, and again on the international scene during the 23 season, which saw him make nine appearances um, for West Ham or in the Europa Conference League glory to Prague. And in total, he's got 12 competitive goals for West Ham and for his country, Czech Republic, during the last calendar year. And he has really become a pivotal part of the West Ham squad. So the question I'll ask to you is, is Suchik back to his best? Join me as I will bring a more in-depth look at Tommy Suchik in the coming days. But there you go. That is the end. A short and sweet Hammers headlines for you today. West Ham monitoring Mandela Keisha at Royal Antwerp. West Ham potentially looking at shipping back Calvin Phillips to Manchester City. And Tommy Suchik, is he back to his best? Join me over the next couple of days. Go and check out my West Ham Daily where I discuss David Moyes making a U-turn potentially on Calvin Phillips. Go and join Russ earlier on this morning where he talks about the shares being shared out amongst potentially new investors coming into the club. Again, all hearsay. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but nothing, don't believe everything until it's on the official website, of course, as well. Join Alex for his TikTok takeover, 9pm tonight, where he discusses um, Edson Alvarez. Very good live show. Take it easy, everyone, and come on, you irons.